All right, next question is from Unorthodox Fitness Me. I frequently have issues with tight IT bands. Other than foam rolling, I can't seem to find any relief. Are there any uncommon stretches that work great for stretching them? I've seen some of the traditional stretches and have tried them, and they just don't seem to be very effective. You're not you're not fixing the root problem, that's why. So the, the foam roller is temporarily alleviating pain. Even a stretch, uh, like a static stretch, would be a temporary solution for a problem. The reason why your IT bands, the, the likely, the very likely reason that your IT bands bother you is because uh, you have issues with mobility, likely coming from the hips, but it could also come from the ankles and the feet. And so the IT band is just under more stress than it needs to be. There's some compensations going on, and so you feel pain uh, in that area. And the only way you're going to get rid of it permanently is if you solve the actual root cause of the mobility issue in yourself. Um, now, for me, the most effective movement that I've done for IT, so my IT band used to bother me up near my hip. That's where I would start to kind of feel issues. And I would feel it after like heavy, heavy squats. Like I do heavy, you know, squats. And then the next day, the the IT band next to my hip would kind of bother me. In fact, I could like poke it near my hip and it would it would feel tender even to the touch. And then I'd foam roll and do that stuff and it'd feel better. And it just never really went away until I started practicing 90-90 um, positions. And for me, at least, this is just my own personal story, no joke, two or three sessions with uh, you know practicing the 90-90 variations uh, significantly took away my IT band, just two or three sessions, because I think I started firing muscles mm -hmm. a little bit better than when I went to go squat. I didn't notice the same amount of, uh, of pain. So I've got... Um Two, I'm going to share the two most common things that I see as far as the root cause with Sal saying uh, with clients with this. And then also, again, point this person towards the the mindpumpwebinar.com thing that we're doing. So that uh, the moves that I do in there, like this is, this is for you. Uh, for sure, the most common things I see are hip and foot. Um, and foot is the one that I think uh, that is the tricky one that a lot of people don't realize sometimes ends up causing issue in the IT. And the reason why that is, is uh, foot flattening is very common. So you pronate. So the, the foot caves in. When the foot caves in like that, it puts strain and stress on the peroneals. The peroneals then pull up on the insertion of the IT. And then when you also pronate, it internally rotates the femur. And that is like, it winds the IT. It almost twists the IT and then it's getting pulled on from all the way down by the foot and that pulling is where you feel that stress all the way up in the hip or sometimes in the knee. So that's a really common one. So addressing your your foot strength control and ankle mobility, which I addressed that in the webinar, so we get into we get into that stuff is something that will help. I have a, a really good YouTube video too where I address the peroneals and I address IT. It's one of the better videos we've done on I think it's called uh, it's a knee pain. Maybe Doug can look it up or Jackie can link it to the show notes. Remember at mindpumppodcast.com, uh, we have all the show notes. So anytime we talk about stuff like this, you can always go there and we'll we'll link all the videos where we talk about this. So that's the uh, that's that video does all of this. And then the other one is like what Sal is saying is hips. You know, we the the hip is so dynamic. Uh, the hip and the shoulder both are like this, where we it just it can move in all different directions and planes. And unfortunately, as as we get older, we we limit that. We don't do that as much anymore. We move in this kind of sagittal plane forward and backwards all the time, but we don't move laterally and transverse and roll around and play like a kid. And so your your body just says, oh, you're not going to use it. I'm going to lose it. And it stops doing that. But yet then you go squat or do something heavy. And those those muscles that were that should be supporting that hip just they're dormant and they're not strengthened and they're not working properly. And so that ends up putting stress on the ligaments and the joints. And that's where these, this pain and IT tightness comes from. And so you, you want to look at those two areas, address it. But again, I, I cover a lot of this. Yeah. It's those movement, uh, repetitive patterns that uh, you need to identify to get to that root. And, uh, this is something I've, I'm constantly working on this based off of how much I drive specifically. So where my foot position is affects the kinetic chain all the way up into my 
my hip. And so I do feel, you know, my IT talks to me, uh, you know, my performance talks to me, peroneals. Like it, it, it's one of those things too. You just have to understand uh, how to create better movement patterns and repeat them as much as possible uh, in, in order to kind of uh, relieve a lot of this, this, this tightness, this pain that's inevitably going to creep up when you start doing intense exercises, workouts, all that's where you're really going to see it uh, come back to, to haunt you. Excellent.